What's going on you guys? This is Trent here at Rexburg Motorsports here to talk to you about the Polaris Razor Trail Premium. We sell a lot of these trail machines and not a single one of them leaves the shop stock. Not a single one leaves just as they come from the factory. People are always tinkering. People are always adding something to this machine to make it just a little bit better for how they're gonna use it. So in today's video, what I'm gonna talk about is if I have one of these, and if I'm spending $2,000 on accessories, this is exactly what I'm going to do on my machine. So let's check this thing out. All right, so if you've been shopping side by sides, you know that $2,000 in accessories barely scratches the surface. We've seen a lot of people that will throw 10K and up into these machines pretty easy. You can go from mild to wild on these things. And so with this $2,000, I wanted to show you exactly what I would do to give you the best bang for your buck. And when you look at our terrain here in Idaho, I would start with tires. And what I did was I went with a set of the GBC Dirt Commanders. Now I did go a lot bigger than stock, I will say that. Stock is a tiny little tire. So this is a 2810, okay? 2810 all the way around. The stock tire is a staggered setup. So you've got a 26.8 and then a 26.9 on the back. And that's great because it gives you more grip out back, a little skinnier profile out front, so it'll cut into the tires a little quicker, but you can't rotate your tires with the stock setup. Going to the 2810 all the way around made it so that now you've got a square setup. You can rotate your tires, giving you a little bit better of a chance to get a longer lifespan out of these tires. Now, with the 2810, that is two inches taller than stock. Where your tire is two inches taller, that means you're getting a full inch more of ground clearance. That's excellent when it comes to these little trail machines because you're getting into the gnarly stuff. You're getting into the steep and deep. You're getting into the rocks and the logs. That extra inch of ground clearance is gonna keep you from dragging that bottom a lot. Now, another big thing that I love about these GBC Dirt Commanders, this is an eight ply tire. The stock tire is a four ply. That's huge here in Idaho because we see a lot of lava rock. You see a lot of sharp rock the stock tires, you're gonna find the limits of those pretty quick, and we see a lot of those sidewalls get ripped out of those in our area. So with an eight ply tire, that gives you the peace of mind to know that no matter where you go, no matter how crazy the rocks are, you're gonna make it out. One of the big reasons that I also really, really like this GBC Dirt Commander is this gives you the opportunity to go as big as you possibly can while keeping with the stock 12 inch rim. A lot of the other tires on the market, if you go up to the 28s like I did, you have to go to a 14 inch rim. Not so much with the GBC. They do a great job of offering a big, big tire for the smaller aluminum wheel. Now I will tell you, with this 2810, it did widen the stance just a little bit. It's no longer right at the 50 inch category like the stock tire puts it. You're at about 53. I did the tape measuring this morning. Now if you do want to go a little bit bigger than stock with the 26.8 and 26.9 setup. You can go to a 27.9 and do a square setup. I just love the look of these 28s. This thing, it makes it look a lot more tough. It makes it look a lot more ready to be the bad 75 horsepower machine that this is. So again, first off, tires, gotta do it. Second on the list, this is a big one that we see a lot of people do, the roof. You gotta stay out of the sunshine. When you're out in this machine all day long, when, whether you're on the desert, whether you're out in the hills, you don't wanna be getting sunburned the whole darn day. A roof is gonna be something that's gonna be awesome. It's gonna keep you a little bit cooler in the cab because you're gonna be staying out of that sunlight. Polaris offers both an aluminum roof and the poly roof. The price difference between the two is within about $100. In my opinion, the aluminum roof is money well spent. It's, it's just a great looking roof. I, really, truly, they come in different colors, so if you do wanna modify the look of your machine, you know, with, a, with the Ultimate, they come in the ghost gray, so about the color of this hood, and then the Sport model comes in that white. If you want to customize the look of your machine, you can play with a lot of different roof colors. I know that they've offered red, they've offered blue, um, we've even sent these off to powder coaters and had them done in a multitude of colors. Can't do that with a poly roof. 
I do love the poly roof. They're a great bang for your buck, but the aluminum roof, it just looks a little better. It's a little bit more sleek and it gives you a lot more options to customize this machine. So that's another go-to product for me. I'll go tires, I'll go roof. And then the next thing that I'm going to add is gonna be a half windshield. Now, a lot of people that buy these side-by-sides go with the full glass windshield or the full poly windshield um, to keep more dust and more stuff out of your face. I come from the dirt bike side of things. I'm gonna constantly be wearing a helmet and goggles when I'm driving a side-by-side. -side. With that being the case, I go with the half windshield just because this is gonna keep a little bit, uh, if I'm following somebody, a little bit uh, more of the roost off of me. But then on this half windshield, they put a little bit of a, a lip on here making the air go up and over a little bit better. So it does do a good job of whatever dust that makes it into the cab. It does a good job of helping push that away, but it gives you that little bit of added protection from roost and a little bit added protection from the dust that's around these side-by-sides. So I do love the half windshield for that. Now a big thing, I have been out in these side-by-sides with half windshield and it started to rain. And to be honest with you, once you get the raindrops on these, you really can't see through them all that well. And so you've got to do something quick. Now Polaris does a great thing with that. These half windshields, you can take them off and on really, really easy. Polaris does a great job of making sure that you can get that on and off just nice and quick, regardless of why you need it off. So the half windshield is great for the reasons that I told you. Now last on my personal list is going to be a winch. On this machine, we actually use the All Balls brand 4,500 pound synthetic winch. This is an awesome, awesome thing to have on your machine and for a lot of reasons. Number one, this is great insurance to know that if you get out into the crazy terrain that you're gonna be taking your side by side out and you get stuck, you're not gonna be spending the night in the woods if you got a winch. Pull that thing out, hook it to whatever you possibly can, be it tree, be it boulder, be it whatever you can get you know, a big heavy friend. I'm just kidding, don't use that. But you've got some insurance to know that you are gonna be able to get out of whatever situation that you're in. A winch is a must have if you're going out alone into the trails. This is a huge thing to have. And even if you go out with buddies, if one of your friends doesn't have a winch or if they're in a predicament where they can't quite get to their winch, having a winch is an awesome, awesome thing. Now, another good reason to have a winch is if you decide to throw a plow set up on your machine later, if you're gonna want to use your razor to clear off your sidewalk, clear off your driveway, you gotta have a winch to run the plow. This is another great reason to throw a winch on your machine first off because to be honest with you, the install is not that much fun when it's brand spanking new. It's a little less fun if the machine's dirty. <laughs> so do it first, do it, do it quick because it does make it just a lot more easy for you to know that it's there, it's taken care of, and it's ready for future modifications. Now again, this is an awesome, awesome machine. Polaris swings well above their weight limit with these Razor Trail models. 900 cc motor, 75 horsepower, plenty of suspension travel to give you a nice smooth ride. These things are awesome. Again, this is just scratching the surface of what you can do with one of these. If you have any questions for us here at Rexburg Motorsports, we would love to help you out with that. Be it in our parts department, these guys know their stuff. They'll help you get your rig set up just how you want it to do. Or if you're looking for a new rig, here at Rexburg Motorsports, we carry them all. We've got Polaris, we got Can-Am, we got Cat, we got Yamaha. We've got nine brands here under our roof. It's an awesome place to be. Come and visit us here at Rexburg Motorsports. If you did love this video, give us a thumbs up. We sure do appreciate it. The YouTube algorithm really doesn't get our video in front of other people until we get those thumbs up, so hit that button. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you like us. We'd love to have you follow us along, um, but I hope you have a great day here and out on the trails later. Thanks. I don't know, hopefully that's fine. <laughs>